Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new, hello. And today I'm working on a larger canvas so I thought I'd pop in a few tips and tricks when you work on a larger board like this. And I'm also doing a really different method than I normally do so I hope you guys all enjoy. So if you're new or if you're trying a new technique, I always recommend trying what you want to do on a smaller board. Or if you're just trying out new colours, always give it a test run first before you start on a large canvas like this. Now what I'm doing to start with, and this is my first tip for working on larger boards, is always make sure you prime your board. I primed mine with um, wall paint, so just the house paint wall primer. And then I've put in a clear coat of resin um, all over the surface. The reason why I recommend these two steps is because if you go for resin straight onto a normal unprimed board like birch, it's going to want to soak up that resin and you're going to find it a lot harder to make it flow across the board and that's what you want. So by priming it, it stops the resin from soaking in so much and also by doing a clear um, coat of resin first, it means that whatever I put on top, like the colours of my resin, are going to flow much more easier. You want your resin to flow really easily across your board, you don't want to have to manipulate it too much and push it because that's when you lose all the pretty patterns that the resin creates. So I definitely recommend doing a clear coat if you feel like you've got a bigger space to work with and you want it to flow easier without having to manipulate it too much. So to start with, I'm using my Solid Solutions resin, which I just buy online from Solid Solutions, and it's the Epoxy Art Resin. Now I've mixed equal parts of the resin and the hardener. You have to make sure you mix equal parts. If you don't, it won't fully set, and then you're going to have issues because it will forever feel like tacky. So if you watch my channel a lot, you know I love to do a dirty pour, but today I thought I'd do something different and keep it interesting for you guys. So I've mixed a few different colours up. I've got mostly um, pigments, um, like pigment paste and inks, and they're in all different like navy blues and purples, and a bit of magenta, and then I've mixed into my sapphire pigment um, a bit of resi blast, which I'm doing now, just to create a cool effect. And I'm running them along the length of the canvas, or because it's round canvas, it doesn't really have a length, but I'm running them up along the canvas in long stripes. So this was a really long process of doing it in the stripes. Um, a dirty pour is a lot faster, but it was still really fun and you've just got to um, keep doing the different colours, layering them, and it creates a really cool pattern. In my resin effects tutorial, I showed you guys three different ways to create different effects with resin. In one of them, I used a straw to blow to create a really cool pattern with the resin. I'm going to use that technique, but I'm going to do it on a larger scale because this is such a big canvas that if I used a straw, it would just take me all day and with resin, you've got a very short period of time to work with it. So I'm going to use a hairdryer. It creates the same effect, but just much faster and a lot easier too. I'm just going to speed up the clip now because otherwise this tutorial is going to be very long but I know you guys like to see the process of how it's done.
Now I'm just making sure all my edges are covered. This looks a lot more professional and it just really finishes off the art piece. Another tip of mine is if you are going to use a hairdryer, get an old hairdryer or go and buy a cheap one. It will get covered in resin no matter how careful you are. Um, so get one that you're not too precious about. And if you are going to use a hairdryer, make sure you buy an extension lead as well. Because otherwise you're going to have trouble getting around um, your canvas if you've only got a short cord. So I'm just continuously laying the resin, creating the effect that I want. This is a personal preference. You can add as much or as little as you want um, and use whatever colours you feel like. So I've just gone for darker colours because I've always tended to go for light colours so I wanted to create a darker piece. I wanted to ask you guys if you'd like me to do a Q&A video about resin art. I get asked a lot of the same questions every time I put up a new tutorial, so would you guys be interested if I did my most frequently asked questions in a video? If that's a video that you'd be interested in watching, make sure you let me know by popping a comment in the comment box below. I'm just using a blowtorch that I got from a hardware store and I'm just going over the resin to pop any bubbles. You want to work quite quickly and you don't want to keep the heat in one area for too long because you can burn the resin. You can put your hairdryer on hot but it's just not going to be as effective and you'll still end up with a few bubbles. So my last little trick for this tutorial is using a syringe to apply my gold resin. You can pour it from a cup, but you just don't have that much control when you're pouring from a cup. And I wanted the gold to be in really precise areas. So I just went and got a syringe from um, a pharmacist or a chemist and I just fill it on up and then I place the gold where I want it. You have so much control when you do it this way. This trick works great whether you're doing a big or small canvas, so it's definitely worth having a few syringes set aside when you're creating your next art piece. The resin will take around 72 hours to fully set, so you want to make sure you can leave it in a place where it's not going to be disturbed. And make sure you just leave it flat and every so often just run your hands along the bottom and get any drips off. So that was my resin art tutorial with a few tips and tricks on how to work on a larger canvas. If you enjoyed this make sure you give it a big thumbs up and if you're new subscribe to see some more resin art tutorials.